Gallipoli be agreed to. And I call the member for Indi. Thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. I'm proud to report to this House some of the activities which has taken place in the electorate of Indi to commemorate the first hundred years of the Anzac landing. In my speech tonight, I'd like to comment on the activities that I was involved in on Anzac Day, report on the centenary local grants program and conclude with some general comments on the importance of the values of service, duty and vision. Anzac Day, Mr Deputy Speaker, in North East Victoria dawned cold and wet, and despite the wet start the, cr start, the crowds were large in the early morning light at the Wodonga dawn service, at the Anzac morning service in Tangambalanga, and then during my visit to the World War I Yakandanda Remembers exhibition at the Yakandanda Museum. I was particularly pleased to be able to join many locals at the Gung Barrel Breakfast to be provided by the Wodonga RSL and the Vietnam veterans. And as we huddled around the heaters and watched the TV broadcast from the War Memorial in Melbourne, we felt a strong sense of camaraderie. I'm told that community participation in Anzac Day services has been growing steadily in the past decade across all of Indi, and it's clear from this that we value and honour the commemoration. The federal government's Anzac Centenary Local GANS program. Uh, funding of up to $125,000 was available for each federal member of parliament to support projects in their electorates. And I would like to acknowledge the work of the former MP for Indi, Ms Sophie Mirabella, in establishing the initial Indi committee to oversee the processes of community involvement in this program. Under Sophie's guidance, a call went out to the various community groups across Indi for projects and the Anzac Centenary Local Government Program Committee spent much time, energy and commitment considering all these projects. To the committee members, I would like to say thank you for your commitment, your valuable contribution to your insight and knowledge. And I'd like to name them into Hansard, David Martin, Bruce Bingham, Doug Brockfield, Norm Fern, Barbara Riddell, Peter Dixon, Kevin Williams, Doug Williams and Henry Andrews. And it is with pride that I report to the House some of the projects funded under this program. To the Alpine Shire Council, commissioned and erected a statue to LB David Lowenson, VC winner in Myrtleford. To the Beechworth RSL sub-branch, to money to refurbish the cenotaph in the Beechworth Town Hall Gardens. To the Beechworth Theatre Company, staging Alan Seymour's play, The One Day of the Year, along with an essay and multimedia competition open to schools and the public. To the Benalla RSL sub-branch, commissioning of three bronze panels commemorating the Australian Flying Corps and production um, to Boney Giller RSL, production of a bronze plaque of the Boney Giller community commemoration of 28 soldiers who served in World War I and the publication of a, brook, of a book, Brave Boney Giller Boys. To Bright RSR, RSL sub-branch, my great war hero, encourage students at Bright P12 to research local servicemen and women and to present this information to a community lunch and to mount a brass plaque in the existing town memorial about the project. To the Chiltern Athenaeum, restoring the wheels of the very old German corrupt 77 field gun at the Chiltern War Memorial and replace the Middle Indigo School honour board. And I'd particularly like to acknowledge the work of the Coriong RSL sub-branch the gas-powered cauldron installed at the Coriong Cenerath to provide an internal flame. But special congratulations to the trio of horse soldiers who lit a lantern from the internal flame cauldron at the shrine in Melbourne, then brought the lantern back to Coriong by horse. Three riders, Hildy, Heidi Walton, Mark Walton and Bridget Waters, completed the 100-year ride back. It was a fantastic effort. And I'd like to acknowledge the work of the Coriong RSL sub-branch in pulling this project together, to Michael Lenhart, our project manager, and to the Coriong Neighbourhood Centre for providing the leadership and organisation for this wonderful Anzac Day commemorative event. To Westdale Primary School, the planting of a lone pine tree and installing a plaque. To the Greta Sporting Complex, installing two flagpoles on a board and a rock with bronze plaques. Well done, Greta to the Jamison Community Group, restoring the Memorial Avenue in Jamison and planting trees. And thank you for your very warm welcome. To the RSL at Keywar, installing memorial walls at Yakandanda Keywar and Sandy Creek. To Lucyvale Tennis Club, 
commissioning of two display cabinets to house World War I memorabilia, an honour roll, plaques and other work. To the Mansfield RSL subcommittee, and a particular thank you to Mansfield for their warm welcome. They have um, put together transportable panels displaying um, local servicemen and women who are involved in Gallipoli and at the Western Front. And these panels can move around to schools, hospitals, community halls and events. So to Sue Gardner, to Graeme Gobder and um, Jeff Walker, congratulations on your work. And also to the Mansfield Historical Society, how much I enjoyed the three videos that you made Mansfield, about Mansfield's war horses, letters from the front line and stories of women at war. Fantastic work. To the Rutherglen RSL, the commission of a, commission of a 1.8 mil World War I granite soldier to be installed at the Rutherglen Memorial Gardens. To the Wangaratta RSL sub-branch, commissioning a new granite memorial that's been installed next to the cenotaph. To the Rurali Memorial Park, Park Committee, they renovated the Rurali Memorial. They're conducting a tree planting, putting it together a new honour board, and su supplying five memorial plaques and a commemorative booklet. To Wangaratta High School, it's for the research, development, and the creation of five terrific interpretation boards at the high school. Um, again, fantastic job, and it was so good to see the community and students engaged in that project. Uh, welcome, Madam Speaker. Uh, to the Indi youth, I'd also like to acknowledge four students from Indi who were part of the 80 young Victorians selected to take part in the Anzac Day Gallipoli tour. The students and their teacher chaperone represented Victoria at the 2015 Anzac Day dawn service at Gallipoli, as well as attending the Australian Memorial Service at Lone Pine. So to Madison, to Brad, to Olivia and Sarah, Sarah well done, and also to Michelle. It being nine o'clock, I propose the question that the House do now adjourn. And I call the